Get that in there. That's charging. Where can I hide this? I need to stuff it somewhere. I don't know where to stuff it. It's going in my shirt. That's where it's living. And the backpack. Just gotta make sure Paul knows how to turn on his GPS. So they made the smart choice, they got onto the main road first so they don't have to give way. Because this is what happens, you get stuck here behind this car who won't pull out and you get 406 motorcycles coming past. And you just, there's nothing you can do. So you need to get onto the main road as quickly as possible with the give way rules in your favour. Let's crack on. where he is. I'm gonna get my t-shirt out. Boom! <laughs> is your box open a quick release feature, is it? Okay, here we go, full front. So, 12.30 and it's 12.36. So the first couple of checkpoints is just working out what pocket everything's in and where you're putting everything. I need a better place for the t-shirt but I don't know where I can put it that I won't lose it. You see Paul? There he is, he's doing good. I'm setting a really quick pace and he's, he's keeping up. Kuro! We stopped here a couple of years back to see Richie McCoy. Richie McCoy in there. Richie McCoy! Now because both Sidgic and the TomTom Tom both take us on uh, interesting routes, I've actually handwritten off Google. I made my own road book. Going left at McHenry's at 2 kilometers, 2.1. So I meant to reset this so I know. There's a bit of a, a foolproof. Let's see where these guys go because it's reckoning I should go left now. No, no, I'm not going to go left because that'll take me on sealed roads, which is the exact reason why I did this. So Google saying go left. Oh, they're going left. Yeah, see there, Google sending them on interesting routes as well. No, I'm not going that way, mate. 2.1, just 1.5. Some info. How far is it to the bridge going this way? You're not going further up? 
up here and there's another seat to go across the bridge now. Alright, I think we're going to keep going. It sounds like there's some gates or something up there, so we'll go have a look and see what happens. If not, we'll come back this way. Okay, so it sounds like it's all gated and stuff. So we'll see what the GPS says. I don't know, I guess you just keep going and find out. If not, it's a long detour back to get to the mystery in. Uh, what's the next one? Kilmarnock. Google reckon you just go up, turn right, go around the mountain and come back down. But those guys were saying something about gates. So we'll find out when we get there. Uh oh. Yes! And he stored it. Is your kick your kickstand is down! Your kickstand! <sighs> your kickstand's down! Damn it, now we're gonna get in these guys. I just leave it open for the last guy, yeah? <sighs> Don't forget your kickstand! Yeah. <sighs> oh, it's a bit annoying. I mean, those guys would have caught us up, but... <laughs> Looks like we popped out the other side. Some pretty cool. Ah, he's had to open the gate. You see him up there? He's had to open the gate. Is he leaving them open though, or is he? So for the first couple of gates, you know, the person at the front opened the gate and let everyone through. But the last couple of gates, I haven't noticed that. That's good fun, isn't it? <sighs> he's on the V Strom there, second in the queue. We'll see you around. You good? Oh, he's got a flat. He's got a flat. He's already out. That's cheating! 1347, 1341, so that's good. That'll put a dent in their plans, I'm sure. Alright, we're gonna head down Serpentine Road, back to the main drag. Horrific. Okay, the pea soup was a bad, uh, bad choice. Paul's happy with it. I'm not. This is incredibly uncomfortable. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I don't even want to take my hand off the bars to turn the GoPro off. Paul's just bloody gone. That's all sh very difficult. There'd be tiny little ropes there. Whoops! Sorry, Mr. Farmer. Ryan, I think they need a checkpoint with some shade.
This is the checkpoint, mate.